Hello, I'm Tom Hathaway. I'm wearing my BA hat, so let's talk business analysis. In this nugget, we're going to talk about iterative or spiral system development methodologies, what they are, and how they affect you when you are the one wearing the BA hat. Iterative methodologies assume that change will happen and plan for it. A widespread iterative methodology is IBM's Rational Unified Process, or RUP. A major feature of the iterative approach is the assumption that the ultimate solution will be created in a series of releases or iterations. Your role as the business analyst, whom we will refer to as the BA regardless of what your actual job title is, in iterative methodologies in each phase is similar to your role in the waterfall approaches. The initial phase of any project is the inception phase. During this phase, the BA will elicit and capture the vision statement and high-level business goals and objectives. You might create the business case for the project using problem analysis, cost-benefit analysis, and business and stakeholder requirements definition techniques. The project is then broken down into a series of iterations each of which has a single key objective. Each iteration goes through potentially multiple elaboration, construction, and transition phases to ultimately deliver a release that represents a preliminary version of the final product. The phases often overlap during the iteration. The next release would then build on the existing version and add further functionality or features in a cycle of continuous improvement. Typical business analysis activities such as business modeling, requirements elicitation and analysis, requirements decomposition, etc., cross phase boundaries. For example, it is not uncommon for a business process model to be initiated during the inception phase at a high level and then be decomposed incrementally during the elaboration phases over a series of iterations. Separating activities from phases is one of the hallmarks of the iterative approach. In the elaboration phase, the BA defines solution requirements. One of the major techniques that has evolved to support object-oriented system development and by association iterative methodologies is the Unified Modeling Language, or UML. The UML is a very complex set of diagramming symbols which makes it relatively difficult to learn and requires highly abstract thinking. It is being applied successfully by developers in the software development process on a regular basis but due to its complexity, is seldom used in the business analysis arena. One exception to that rule is the use of a concept called use cases. Business use cases are a very common documentation method for capturing the solution requirements for an evolving information technology solution. A major attribute of the use case is the focus on a single usage of the application by a single user. This gives the BA a phenomenal tool for expressing functional requirements. By design, the UML allows for extensions, giving it a great degree of flexibility and giving the BA opportunity to add dimensions to cover the requirements components. Furthermore, in the elaboration phase, the BA, together with the subject matter experts, or SMEs, develops prototypes if needed and, sometimes, creates preliminary user manuals. It is also the BA's responsibility in this phase to have agreement from all stakeholders regarding the requirements. In the construction phase, the BA has to be available to the developers for any requirements clarifications that are needed. In the transition phase, the BA might be tasked with acceptance testing tasks such as creating test plans, test cases, and test scripts. Whether or not the BA is involved in testing is an organizational decision. A fundamental business analysis task in this phase is to define transition requirements and help the development team to transition the system from development to production. After completion of the transition phase, the next iteration for this project starts and all business analysis activities are repeated.